David, so amazing to see you. Good to see you, Stephanie. At the Multiple Myeloma Research Foundation, we apply a multifaceted approach. And one of our most exciting new endeavors is the Myeloma Investment Fund, where since five years, we're now investing into exciting new science in multiple myeloma. And one of them is Reverb. So please tell us about the exciting science with Reverb. Of course, Stephanie. So thank you for having me. Um, I've been very lucky to have had the chance to make drugs for people who need them. And um, I'd say the idea for Reverb really started when I saw the suffering of people with multiple myeloma. We often think of this as an area that has been solved. There's been so much progress, uh, but the patients are still out there and uh, they are in need of better solutions. And one of the ideas we had was that we actually wanted to make use of the properties of the human body to heal itself. And we think ultimately this can lead to a cure. So what we did is we thought about these molecules called cytokines. They are the signaling molecules of the immune system. They tell immune cells to expand or to become more cytotoxic, which means that they can kill tumor cells. And rather than trying to take these cytokines and engineer them into drugs, which turns out to be very difficult, we wanted to actually use drugs to pick them up in blood where they circulate already and to concentrate them near the cancer cell. Um, so that's the concept behind reverb. Uh, it's to let this signal of the immune system reverberate for much longer. And you were some of the very first money in, which is incredibly hard to get. And I'm incredibly grateful. And uh, I feel also uh, personally re uh, responsible to make sure that these therapies we're now developing and are becoming reality will get to patients with multiple myeloma. And this is exactly why this was such a great fit for us with Reverb at the Myeloma Investment Fund, which was started five years ago by the MMRF, because there was simply not enough biotechs with exciting ideas uh, being funded. So fast forward, we now have 10 active investments. Two of the companies are in the clinic, and we already had three exits. And that's important because that allows us to reinvest the money into more exciting therapies. Traditional VC funds have to return the capital to their investors, but we have donors to which we are incredibly grateful. But that allows us to really invest dollar for dollar into exciting science that hopefully will contribute to a cure to multiple myeloma at some point. And that also allows us not just to invest once in our promising companies. We invested in Reverb last year, and now we invest in the second round of Reverb. And congratulations for raising this follow-on investment. And we, we want to stay uh, all the way along with Reverb to really uh, have a great success together. So one of the great things about having this partnership with you uh, and with MMRF is that when we meet other investors, uh, there's a huge sense of comfort uh, because of the credibility that you bring, uh, that the MMRF brings, um, and also the fact that you bring things that other investors can't. Uh, actually, just last week, we met with your chief medical officer and chief scientific officer, Dr. Cho and uh, Dr. Mulligan. They are world-class experts physician scientists who understand the fundamentals of what we're doing uh, and also understand how to move this into the clinic. So our discussion was broad and wide ranging. It went from, now, what do you need to do to get the FDA comfortable with your um, uh, therapy to move it into the clinic all the way to uh, what would your clinical trials look like? What are the types of patients you want to recruit? How would we ever get this expertise except through a relationship like this? And that's really our distinguishing factor as a major specialty investor in multiple myeloma. We have this breadth of expertise at the MMRF that we can utilize in a very rigorous vetting process of all of our opportunities. 
We have also generated a number of data. We have conducted a real-world data study with mm -hmm. over 1,100 multiple myeloma patients. And uh, we are both collaborating on this with other pharma and biotech companies and also utilize that to further develop insights into the disease process, maybe at some point even come up with novel targets and eventually, eventually novel therapies. Yeah, it's a, in many ways, um, making a company is a team sport. And uh, MMRF and Myeloma Investment F Fund are part of the team. Uh, so I just wanted to say thank you to not only the MMRF and you, MF, but also to the patients for their time and for the focus that they have and for the capital that, that they provide in order to develop these therapies. So thank you. And this is really what we also want to express. Uh, thank you to the patients for all their trust. We are there for you. Please understand that. And that's what we believe we can do together with such a strong partner like Reverb and many others. We will be able to develop a therapy for multiple myeloma because of the belief of our patients and all their trust. So thank you to all of you. <laughs>